What's up, guys? This is Jim from Archetype Aperture, and I wanted to put another video together. I know I said I was going to talk about photography and photography type stuff, but I just got my Rodecaster back in the uh, in the mail from Rode. Uh, they had to do some some software type things because <laughs> <clears throat> your boy unmess things up. I tried to update my firmware, which Apparently I didn't have, to, I didn't need to, but, uh, when I did that, you, you gotta take out the old firmware and then add the new firmware. It's a whole process. So if you're not sure there's videos out there that, uh, explain all this stuff to you, I suggest before you do anything that you watch all these videos, I'm going to recommend, uh, I'm going to put a link in the summary, uh, for reference. So, I mean, because it's, it's the best. This guy that's out here doing this, and I'm not going to name drop, but uh, he's probably one of the best in the business, lighting, studio, audio, all of that good stuff. Now, I feel like uh, my sound quality is pretty good, and I'm recording through the Rodecaster Pro. Let's see. Yep. There she is. What I want to show you today is real fast. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do want to talk about how to set up the Rodecaster Pro with Adobe Audition. Now, whatever DAW, your DAW, whatever you're using, uh, I'm sure it's going to be very similar to what I'm doing. I just learned this, and it's very simple, and it's it's it seems involved, but it's actually not that involved. Now, one thing you've always heard uh, from anyone is that with Rode, the Rodecaster Pro, when you do a multi-track recording, that it records like 14 tracks or you know whatever it may be. Well, yes and no. So I'm going to take you step by step through the process of setting up your your DAW or your Adobe Audition or you know whatever it is that you you know program that you use uh, to record to. And you can also record directly to the uh, SD card. It's going to record all the tracks. Am I live? I'm not even monitoring this, so hopefully it's hopefully it's recording. All I've done is I've plugged in my USB cord to my computer so that it registers that when I open my DAW. So I'm doing a little screen recording here. Here I have my Adobe Audition opened up, new multi-track session, and you can title it, you know, whatever you want. YouTube, audio... And that's what that's it. I've already selected my location and you can select wherever you want. Sample rate 4,800 Hertz and bit, bit depth is 24 bits and always change your mix to stereo. You're going to go up and you're going to select to add another track. And you're going to do this three times. All right. Once you've selected the new, the three new tracks, you're going to go in and you're gonna select stereo multi-channel mix left. And then you're gonna rename it stereo mix. The next one, you'll select mono mic channel one, and then change the name to mic one. And as you can see, I go through all four microphones and I do the exact same thing with all of them. The voices can be a mono, uh, you know, but everything else should be in stereo. If you're, if you're playing music, what have you, or, you know, any type of music at all, it should be in stereo, right? And it's important to set all of these things up in your, your DAW because otherwise each track won't be separated. And then when you get, if you're like me, I like to go in and after the fact, and I like to edit everything into place and make sure everything's right where it needs to be. But this is perfect if you're doing a live streaming and you're going to have to be doing changes on the fly, uh, bringing up microphones, bringing them down, uh, changing the sound pad or, you know, hitting the sound pad, bringing in phone calls, uh, whether you're using the TRS cable or the Bluetooth, everything is already set up and you label each one and all the USB, the TRS and the Bluetooth are so they, they should be 
and the sounds should be under stereo instead of mono. Remember that as you're going in and you're doing your drop down selection. Uh, but then you see everything is set up and you've got the master mix. Uh, when you do this, you just hit record and you see immediately that my voice starts registering. I, I like to collapse it down a little bit so I can just hit all the, our, all the record buttons uh, ready to go. And that's it. You're all set. If you want to expand it so you can see the EQ, uh, see where you're clipping or where you're not clipping, you're set and you're ready to go. You're ready to record. Another thing that I, you know, I, I wanted to show you, you may be wondering what the post fader mix and all of that good stuff is. From the home menu, hit the little, the gear, and you go into advanced audio multi-track. You're going to see micro SD card, USB. You're going to see bypass audio processing and post fader. Um, so basically before the post fader is on, you can click to bypass the audio processing, which is coming from the Rodecaster Pro. Some of you will have noticed that when you set everything up this way, and and if you don't, if you even if you just set it up and you're like, why is it that I, I can record properly, but when I do any kind of fade in and fade out, it's not recording to my DAW. Well, this is where you're going to run into that. Okay, this is or this is how you're going to correct that. You're going to hit that post fader and you'll see the bypass audio processing. It's gone. So when you do that, now when you slide the sliders up and down, you'll notice that the audio actually tracks in your DAW. That is an, a super important thing. Now, if you are someone like me on my podcast and on my videos, I like to edit post edit. Okay. But with this, like I can just put everything right in. You know, I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait on anything. Where is my intro music? I think this is it. I, can't, I don't know. No, that's the intro music for my other podcast. Ooh, you hear that fade? I'm fading and it's gone. All right. So just a little bit a little quick video just to show you how to set up your Rodecaster Pro in your DAW, <laughs> in your DAW, in your Audition, or I can only go with Audition because that's what I use. With that being said, guys, hopefully this helps you. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I just wanted to show you how I do things and why I do the things that I do, and hopefully it helps. That's it, guys. See you.